So this video is for any of you guys that are thinking about doing the character, DreamWorks character photo safari in Labadee, Haiti. It's an excursion uh, from the cruise ships that come into Labadee, Haiti. And if you're thinking about doing this excursion, um, I know I couldn't find anything on YouTube or anything that really talked about what this excursion was all about. I think it's kind of new. And so I wanted to make this video to show you what to expect if you want to take your kids on this thing. It's a family thing. It's a kid's thing. Uh, but it may not be what you think it is. You guys on the safari? Yes. She said we were going to meet by a towel station out here. I'm still looking for it, though. So as you can see, we're headed out to meet the people that are running the excursion. There's uh, like three or four women um, that are in charge of this. Uh, but what I didn't film was on the ship. They actually had us meet on the ship in Adventure Ocean to sign some waivers. Um, I should have known then that this wasn't really that well put together. Um, they had us all sign waivers, fill out this information for our kids, uh, mainly for the water park that they're going to get to play in. Um, but then they collected all of them and then realized they weren't supposed to collect them and had to figure out there's probably 20 families that all filled these things out for their kids and they had to figure out who belonged to who to get them get them all back to us because we were going to need them later in the water park um, but i didn't film all that so we're going to skip ahead to us going out to the do the actual excursion here As you can see, my two daughters here are wearing their Trolls headbands. They were really excited to uh, see the Trolls and all the other characters. Um, but I'm going to save you the disappointment right now and tell you, you will not see any of the DreamWorks characters on the actual excursion. None of the characters come off the boat uh, for this at all. Something else I was a little disappointed in finding is that um, this isn't a photo safari in the way you would think you would be taking photos or they would be taking you to places where you would have photo opportunities. They've actually staged photos and they're actually just cartoon pictures of the characters um, on the island in different places and you're going to be finding those apparently. Now we never really heard any of the clues they gave us to find them. The two or three boys that were in the front and of the pack ran ahead of everybody the whole time and uh, pretty much found all the little things. And they weren't really hidden. They were pretty much on the main path that you take walking around the island. So they did say they wanted the parents to get involved with the kids uh, when it was time to do the challenges. They would have challenges for us at some of the stops and uh, I was kind of excited to you know, have some time to play with the kids and stuff like that uh, with these challenges, but they turned out it was kind of like, uh, you know, make a frowny face or sing a song like this one here. So my kids weren't too impressed with the challenges. Um, they seemed like they were geared towards the younger kids, toddlers. Well, until we got to this challenge, which as you can see, they basically just told the kids to run into this splash pad fully dressed. Get as wet as you can. Woo! Get so wet they weren't, I was afraid you guys were going to be huh? They didn't warn us for this. No, 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 they didn't warn no, us about no, this. Whoa, no, no. <laughs> As you can see, I stopped my girls because they just weren't dressed for it. They had tennis shoes on, and they didn't tell us they were going to be getting wet during the excursion. And then they didn't give us time to actually prepare them for this. Um, as soon as they had the few kids that actually ran into it run out and hug their parents, which was part of the challenge, um, they moved on to the next thing. We were moving on. and. Pretty much the whole thing was just walking in this crowd of all these families and following the few people in the front up to the next location to look at a picture of a cartoon and uh, make a face or sing a song or whatever it was. 
Now I will say this part of the excursion didn't take that long really. I think it was less than an hour um, to get to the final location or whatever where we roared like a lion. My kids weren't too interested. You gonna go up there and do it? They're roaring like a lion. You don't have to. But now that it's over, we're pretty much free to swim in the beach until our hour at the water park started, which was included in the excursion, um, this inflatable water park out here. Um, it was pretty cool, but I got to tell you, it was geared more towards the bigger kids. My little ones had a hell of a time trying to climb up these things and slide down them. A lot of them they just weren't able to do. Um, but it was fun. They, they still had fun out there. The swimming in the ocean is a lot of fun. And so I'm not going to complain about this part of the excursion at all. It wasn't that bad. So later in the evening when you get back on the ship, there is like a, a little dance party just for people that were on the excursion. So all the kids got to go to this this cool little place just for them. They had cupcakes and then they brought the trolls out and uh, my girls were really excited to finally see the trolls. And so this is part of the excursion. It just doesn't happen until way later when you're back on the ship. Um, but it was cool that they finally got to see them and they got prizes from the trolls, little uh, art sets and stuff. So they were really excited about all that and in the end it worked out. Um, they were disappointed all day thinking they weren't going to see the trolls at all and so far on the ship um, up to then we hadn't seen them around we've seen all the other characters but I hadn't seen them so it was a pretty exciting time and a fun little dance party the kids had a lot of fun so in the end it did kind of work out but I would say that this excursion is just not what we expected um, I'm not gonna say it was terrible it, there was parts of it that were not well prepared I didn't think um, and we weren't well prepared for what the you know excursion was actually going to be about and what you know what we were going to be doing there's just not enough description when you sign up for this thing and they don't tell you much when we start off so um, hopefully this helps you guys know exactly what to expect in this and decide for yourself if it's worth the money because it can be pretty expensive so especially if you have more than a couple kids or more than a few people in the family. So you're gonna be paying for everybody. And I think there's different prices for the adults than there are for the kids. So you have to look at that. I know they go up and down, so I don't wanna quote a price now. Um, you just have to look it up and see what it is right now because they do go on sale and things like that. So, but hope this helped you guys and I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.